SC and UCLA, it's always important in Southern California. It's simply known as the Crosstown Showdown. But it didn't materialize tonight. UCLA, ranked 13th in the country, was just better from the beginning. Jake Bird, great performance. Goes seven full, allows eight hits, but he scattered him. Just one earned run. Strikeout, 99 pitches, 62 of those were strikes, and he improves to 5-2. and two. 11 ground ball outs, Wes. He was terrific. Well, he came into the game with a 1-6-5 ERA. You could see why. As you mentioned, a lot of ground balls lasted through the seventh inning and did what he's done the entire year, Waddy, which is get outs and quick outs and be efficient. Yeah, he's the Friday night guy, and he pitched like it tonight. Kevin Kendall, offensively, there were many heroes, but this guy had a fantastic night. UCLA put up five runs in the first inning, came back and put up five more in the eighth inning. Kendall on the night, singled and scored in the first, a three-run home run in the fifth inning, and had an RBI single in the eighth. On the night, three for five, three runs, four RBIs, a home run, a walk, and even a stolen base. Well, he wasn't expected to even play regularly in the Bruins lineup. He ends up being the starting shortstop, and you see him there. He left the yard down the line, three for five, big game for the youngster. Yeah, not much to talk about on the SC side. We'll save them for the rest of the weekend. UCLA wins at 16 to one. The last time they beat SC by 15 runs, you have to go all the way back to 2009. Trojans and Bruins again on Saturday at four.